Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So uh, I just wanted to go over quickly with you a new addition to the fleet. Um, obviously, you know, we've got the uh, the OG mistress here in the background, my 2006 Black F-150 and my wife's 2017 Ford Escape over there. Uh, but as you do know, I like to buy and sell a lot of cars. Um, I like to flip, make a little bit of money, uh, you know, and uh, everything I buy has something wrong with it and uh, so I'm going to go through what's wrong with this particular car uh, what I plan to do with it and uh, you know how much I plan to have into it what I plan to sell it for stuff like that and then I'm going to show you one of the quick projects that we're going to do to make this car look ten times better uh, increase the value and only spend a little bit of money and a little bit of time doing it so follow me and uh, I'll go show you guys what's going on with the new car alright guys so here it is the uh, the new car is a 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, it's a Wolfsburg edition, 2.5 liter non-turbo, five-cylinder. Uh, it is a five-speed, so that makes it uh, a little bit more fun than your average Jetta. But as you can see here, car is in really, really good shape. Um, it's only got 111,000 miles on it. It's got a little bit of, uh, you know, paint uh, bubbling here, some rust on the fenders, which is really common on these uh, Mark V Jettas. This fender is okay. Um, this one here has a little bit, I don't know if you can see it there as well, a little bit of rust bubbling. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean overall clean car, no rust on this fender. It's got really good tires on it. Um, I don't have the keys on me right now so I can't show you the interior, but the interior of the car is in good shape too. Um, I don't know how much you can see in there, but uh, five-speed car, like I said, 111,000 miles, 2007. Uh, bought it from the uh, second owner. Clean Carfax and everything. Uh, sunroof, heated seats. You know, again, Wolfsburg edition, so it uh, it has a couple of the fancy options on it. It does run out of inspection in just a few days but that's one of the things I'm going to take care of on this car um, it has new front pads and rotors on it again has good tires the wheels have a little bit of curb rash uh, pretty common on a 12 year old car but really not bad overall um, the rear rotors and pads if you can see that are in bad shape the rear rotors are extremely rusty. Uh, the pads are basically metal on metal. And uh, so that's one of the things that we're going to take care of on this car. I do have some new pads and rotors already in the garage for it. Um, so we're going to take care of rear brakes on it. We already did a flex pipe on it. Uh, the flex pipe was leaking and it was really loud when you started it up. So before I even brought it home, I dropped it off at my local exhaust shop had them throw a new flex pipe on it. Um, one issue that I did run into was I towed this car home on a tow dolly and uh, the front end of this car was in perfect shape when I bought it, when I went and looked at it. Um, I took a tow dolly to pick it up because the car was about an hour away and uh, it was actually at a small used car dealership and they closed at five and my wife works late and again it was about an hour away so I it was going to be impossible for her and I to ride up there together for me to pick the car up and drive it home so I took my truck uh, the OG mistress over there took my truck rented a tow dolly went up to pick the car up and unfortunately this tow dolly that I used was just not designed I mean this car is not lowered it's stock height it's you know it's it's an average sedan um, and this tow dolly just destroyed the car putting it on the tow dolly. Um, this lower chin spoiler here as you can see it destroyed it. Um, only this piece is left. This is all scratched up here. The rest of it is missing. Um, you know it, it gouged the bumper right here and also right here. Again chin spoiler missing on this whole side and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it actually broke the lower radiator support uh, just just ripped out this whole piece on both sides so I had to order a whole new radiator support for the car 
Um, this panel, I think, was damaged during that process as well. Um, you know, and I so I ordered a new radiator support, uh, which is it's. I mean, it sucks because I have to pull the whole front of the car off. I have to pull the bumper cover, the grill, the headlights. Um, I have to pull all that stuff off to replace this header panel, and uh, so not only did it cost me about $125 in parts and shipping, but now it cost me a few hours more of work as well. And I bought a new chin spoiler, which is going to come in black, and I'm going to have to paint it silver and replace that as well. These marks on the bumper, I'm just going to have to let them go. Um, you know, it is what it is. It sucks. Lesson learned. Do not use a tow dolly to pick up a car. Uh, you know, I mean, it, so it sounds stupid. That's what they're designed for. But uh, not all tow dollies are the same. And this particular tow dolly, the way it was designed, just didn't work. Just didn't work for this car. Um, so, again, that really sucks. All I was really planning on having to do to this car was rear brakes and a flex pipe and getting it uh, inspected, fresh inspection. Um, and now I have to fix the front end as well and that was nobody's fault but my own um, I mean obviously by the time I realized that that was an issue the damage was already done you know uh, I mean until I pulled it up on the dolly I didn't know uh, it took a few times to get over the little lip that was on the dolly so I had to go up and down the dolly like probably four or five different times the car's five speed so I was trying not to really ride the clutch or anything so I was trying to get kind of a running start um, and I'm always afraid of going over the dolly and you know getting stuck in that position so anyway it was just I was it was dark uh, it was cold I was by myself and it just was not an ideal situation so uh, it happened it is what it is we'll deal with it um, there was enough money I think uh, to be made on this deal that although I'm not gonna make as much now uh, the right thing to do is to fix it and and just go about our business as we planned on doing so um, What I did want to show you guys was This right here on this door trim Okay, it's like that on this front door the back door a little bit down here on this back door between the the uh, main window and this back glass and it's also the same on the other side a little bit right here and a little bit right here and here so what I did is I mean this right now is like a, a chalky flat black paint I'm gonna sand this down smooth you know rough it up a little bit smooth out these edges sand this down tape these off and we're gonna hit them with some primer and then we're gonna hit them with some black paint and I got like a semi gloss black paint I think that will make them look a lot better this is going to be a quick easy relatively cheap repair and it's going to make a huge difference on the overall look of the car it's going to make it look much much nicer so let me uh, get my sandpaper and we'll get started on this little project here hang tight guys all right guys we're going to start with some 3m 150 grit on these hopefully you can see this okay and uh, we're just going to smooth this out right now. Try and get rid of all the rough spots and uh, we'll see how it looks. So here we go. Let's move 
back and uh, try this back window here. guys so as you can see here I skipped ahead a couple steps um, I did sand everything down with that 150 grit like I showed you and then I actually hit it with a 400 grit just to smooth it out a little bit then I came out here with my air compressor and I blew off all the shavings out of like the the jams around the glass and everything just to get any dust particles and stuff off of it and then I actually hit it with a a wet rag, like a damp rag, and wipe the panels down to get all the dust out of out of any of the little cracks or crevices from the sandpaper. Um, and then after that, came out here and taped everything off. So obviously that's the boring part. You guys didn't need to see me do that, but obviously uh, the better job you do prepping, the better your paint job is going to turn out. Now, I mean, this is just a, a simple texture to paint. It's just black paint. But uh, as far as keeping this off of your, off of your glass, off of your weather stripping, you can see I, I opened the doors and taped down in the weather stripping. You know, and then just took some uh, some painters paper that I had and taped off the areas just to avoid any overspray. So everything is taped off and ready to paint. We've got some Rust-Oleum sandable primer, like a, a dark gray or black. And then we have semi-gloss black. This is actually a paint and primer in one, which I didn't realize. But that should be okay. Uh, we're still gonna hit it with the primer first. That will help fill in any uh, small imperfections from sanding and stuff like that. And then I'm hoping that this one can of black will be enough should only have to do like two quick coats on each one of these little panels they're not very big so uh, we should be good to go so uh, I'm gonna let you guys watch me do this side we're gonna hit it with the primer let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll hit it with the semi-gloss black and we'll see how it looks from there so hang tight guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in a minute <laughs> dry now these are just really small areas and it's you know it's pretty cold out today it's only about 50 degrees and uh, I don't want it to get too runny or anything so we're just gonna let it dry out here for a bit we'll come back see how it looks and then we'll probably hit it with another quick coat of primer 
and then we'll come back and and uh, get it with the paint in a little bit. So hang tight, guys, and uh, we'll skip to that here in a second. Guys, this is the first coat of Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel, semi-gloss black. So we're gonna let that dry for probably 20 minutes or so. Then we're gonna come back and hit it again, and then we'll probably let that dry for another 20 minutes, and then uh, we'll come back and hit it probably one last time, and then we should be good to go. So. There is still a little bit of overspray. I'm going to have to clean up here. Um, I don't know why the the spray on these cans is really really wide, but uh, I think you can tell already it's going to make a huge difference on the overall look of the car. It's going to look much, much better than with those faded old door placards. So hang tight, guys, and uh, We'll show you the finished product here in just a minute.
guys, welcome back. Thanks for uh, hanging tight with us. It has been uh, honestly like a month since I did the uh, the paint video on this car. Um, I've just been super, super busy, and the weather here in uh, Southeast PA has been absolute garbage. As you can tell, it's like raining, snowing. Uh, it's just it's just been kind of miserable, and uh, I've been real busy with work and everything. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys uh, the finished product here with the paint on these door placards. They're a little bit dirty right now just because we've been getting some snow and stuff and the car's been driven, but uh, as you can see, they came out pretty well. I did have to remove a little bit of overspray from the glass and the paint, uh, but I think it makes the car look 10 times better. Uh, it really does look good now, so this is the other side over here. You can see, again, they're a little bit dirty but uh, compared to what they were, they look really great. Um, inside of the car here, you can see that uh, it's only got 111,000 miles, 111,592, uh, but the interior is really clean. Um, didn't really have to do anything to it. I swapped out this head unit with one that I had sitting around because the uh, aftermarket head unit that was in it was broken. It just wouldn't power on, wouldn't do anything. But um, we did uh, we did finish up everything on this car a while. We got the rear brakes done. Uh, you can see you know there's a little bit of surface rust just because they've been sitting out here in the rain. But uh, we got new rotors, new pads, and actually a new caliper on this back side here because when I did the rotors and pads, this caliper was seized. So we ended up having to do a new caliper. Uh, which cost us, uh, what was it, I think like 90 bucks or something like that at the local auto parts store. And up front, uh, we did replace the, uh, well I've got the, I've got the new under uh, panel spoiler on, but we did replace this, uh, which was broken, if you remember from previously, and we replaced the header panel as well so that the lower radiator is actually supported. Um, but uh, if you recall, I mentioned the car dolly messed all this up. I ended up replacing the header panel and this lower valance. I did not spray paint it silver to match the car because I found out that only the Wolfsburg editions came with the painted spoilers, uh, which this is a Wolfsburg edition, but all the base models just have black uh, chin spoilers. So I just left this one black instead of trying to match it, color match it with the silver. and. Uh, the extra expense and time and everything were already a little bit over budget where I wanted to be on this car so I just decided to leave it black but it does does look okay the way that it is but uh, anyway guys I just wanted to let you know uh, oh, we also did get it inspected it's got fresh PA inspection and emission stickers good till January of next year so I got it inspected at my local dealership um, but anyway, yeah, so I initially paid $1,800 for this car. Um, like I said, I bought it at a small mom and pa dealership. They sold it as a mechanic special. It only really needed rear brakes and a flex pipe to pass inspection. Um, I paid $1,800 for it. Uh, with tax title and tags, I think I was just over 2000 And then I spent about $35 on a tow dolly to get it home which uh, ended up becoming a lot more expensive because of the damage that got incurred when uh, when I went and tried to put it on the dolly. So all said and done, uh, I'm in this car about $2,560, uh, which is about $300 more than where I wanted to be on it. Um, book value on the car is about thirty-five to 3600 in good condition with the mileage and everything that's on it being a Wolfsburg edition. Um, so... Like I said, I'm in at about 2560. I think uh, I've got it listed for 3600 currently. Um, I did get the title in the mail, and it is currently for sale. I've had a few people come and look at it, and hopefully it will be sold here in the next few days. Uh, but I'm asking 3600 for it. I think realistically I can get 32 to 33 for it. Um, if I take 32, which is about what I think I'm going to get out of it, uh, that leaves me about 640 dollars. In profit, so I was hoping to make about 800. Um, I figured five to 800 is where I'd be on my profit margin. 
uh, so 640 considering the extra damage that was incurred with the uh, the tow dolly damage um, I think I think we came out okay so six hundred and forty dollars for uh, essentially um, what should have been about you know two or three hours total worth of work turned into about a day's worth of work with having to replace that header panel and everything but still six hundred and forty dollars cash money for about a day's worth of work uh, easy stuff you know brakes I paid to have the flex pipe installed I didn't even have to do that um, rear brakes uh, a caliper and uh, even replacing that front header panel and stuff I mean it's all it's all pretty basic stuff that anyone with a little bit of common mechanical knowledge can do uh, <coughs> excuse me someone's gonna get a great great car freshly inspected good to go for a year low mileage doesn't leak anything um, you know I, I think uh, you know it's a win-win for everybody someone's getting a good car I'm making a little bit of money in my free time and uh, I just wanted to show you guys again how I look for deals um, you know what kind of money I put into them um, it's all about buying them right um, you know doing the work yourself uh, using good parts but uh, but you know shop around for a good deal on parts and uh, and sell the car for a fair price and uh, just know you know where you're going to be on it but uh, it's possible to make money out there guys flipping cars uh, without a dealer's license and uh, you know you can do several a year legally uh, without stepping on anybody's toes and uh, there's money to be made so anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, if you like the content and want to see more be sure to hit that like and subscribe button uh, it has been a little while since I uploaded but uh, as we get out of winter here things will start picking up and uh, I'll be with you guys soon so anyway thanks again for watching and take care guys peace